here we have dividing complex numbers. And so just like the section where we were talking about rationalizing denominators, we have to remember that i is the square root of negative one. It is a radical. It's just like a disguised radical. And whenever you have a radical in the denominator, you have to rationalize that denominator. You don't have a choice, you have to, okay? And how do we rationalize denominators that have a binomial? We use the conjugate. So we use the first number exactly as it was, sign and all. We use the second number without the sign, but then we changed it to the opposite in the middle, okay? And we use that same number on the top and the bottom. And so then now we have a binomial times a binomial, which means we have to FOIL, and a binomial times a binomial, which means we have to FOIL. So let's go for it. We get negative 30. We get positive 36i. We get negative 25i. And we get positive 30i squared. Here we get positive 25. Here we get negative 30i. Here we get positive 30i, and here we get negative 36i squared. So I know that this is going to change this into a negative. I know this is going to change this into a positive. So I'm going to combine my like terms from here. I get negative 30 minus 30, which is negative 60. And here 36i minus 25i is going to be plus 11i. Let me make sure. Yes. And then I have 25 plus 36, which is 61. And then these guys go away, so that's all I have. Now, unfortunately, you cannot simplify this, um, but if they want your response to be in this form, you have to separate the fraction. So we'll have negative 60 over 61, plus 11 over 61 with the i on the side, okay? So make sure that you split that fraction up so that it's in the form a plus bi. Now, similarly for this problem here, I have to rationalize the denominator, and because it's a binomial, I'm gonna use the conjugate. So I'm gonna use six plus four i on the bottom and also on the top. Then I'm going to FOIL this one out, so that becomes negative 6. This becomes negative 4i. This becomes negative 6i. And then this becomes negative 4i squared. The bottom, I get 36 plus 24i minus 24i and minus 16i squared. Remember, i squared is negative 1, so all it's going to do is change that to a plus i squared is negative one, so it's gonna change this one to a plus. And then I'm gonna combine my like terms. So negative six plus four is negative two. And then negative four i minus six i is negative 10 i. Then here we have 36 plus 16. I get 52. And then negative 24 and positive 24 will cancel each other out. So I do need to write it in its a plus b i form. So I'm going to write negative 2 over 52 minus 10 over 52i. But this can be reduced, and I must reduce it. So I get negative 1 over 26 and negative 5 over 26 with an i on the side. And this is the response that Alex is going to want. Now here, I do not have a binomial in my denominator. So I do not need to use the conjugate. What I need to use here is another square root, right? We know that this is the square root of negative one. And if I'm trying to rationalize, I need a second square root of negative one so that I can um, no longer have that radical there, right? If you have the pair, the radical will go away. So all I need is another i at the top and the bottom. So what happens here when you have a binomial times a monomial is this has to distribute, giving me 6i minus 2i squared. 
and at the bottom you end up getting 5i squared. Now we know that this is going to change this to positive and this is going to change this to a negative. So what I end up with is 6i plus 2 over negative 5. And we have to write it in that a plus bi form. So first thing I'm going to do is separate the fraction. And then I'm going to clean it up. So I've got a negative 6 over 5i. This and this sign is going to make a negative 2 over 5. And then I want the real number, negative 2 fifths in front, and the imaginary negative 6 fifths in the back. And then always have the i on the side. So this is in the correct form that we needed it to be in. Okay. So if it's a binomial in the denominator, use the conjugate and everything will work out so that you no longer have a square root or an i in the denominator. If it's a monomial, all you need to do is multiply by an extra i and it'll make the denominator or the, the radical or the i go away.